Tapos na hindi kailangan ng Windows. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, halito! Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com Madali lang ang order! Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished! May legit working CD key ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin lang aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com What's up, Internet? Reviewing today, two new cases from Deepcool, the CK560 and the CK500. These are both basically the same chassis. So the specifications I mentioned for one will be applicable to the other, and that's why we're reviewing them as a package. And as always, you should know that the brand sent us these items for review, but had no say in what we had to say about them. But basically, long story short, these cases are typical of Deepcool. Super easy for beginners to build in, very reasonable budget, and you get quality bits. They don't feel cheap, even though the price is good. And that's really been the MO of Deepcool, making things accessible at a quality price. So these are full ATX cases, and they are a little large, especially by today's standards where even ATX cases are slimming down a little. That size helps beginners because you don't need to be super exacting in what you measure. There's a lot of space to make mistakes, both in the build and both in the parts that you get. For example, the max height of a CPU cooler that you can install here is 175 millimeters. That is quite tall. Even the big boy coolers now, like Noctua's NHD15, only clock in at around 165 millimeters. So a lot of height, a lot of space for your air cooling. If liquid cooling is more your thing, then these cases do fit 360 millimeter rads, no problem. And the last thing that usually gets beginner builders is the length of your GPU. No need to worry about that in these cases because they can fit a max length of 380 millimeters for GPUs. That is quite long. Even the longest cards right now don't hit that length. So there's a lot of space, a lot of room for mistakes, and a lot of room to get your hands in there and really get messy if this is the first time that you're building. Continuing the ease of use of the cases are the front shrouds, which are both magnetic. So you just pop it out, it comes off quite easily. And then the standard cleanable dust filter now is just a hook. Again, this is plastic, but it doesn't feel plasticky. Like you don't feel like after 10 uses, it's gonna snap off. And it reveals the frame. Again, super easy to build in because everything is so accessible and easy to find. You could, you, you readily notice where we screwed in the fans here. And because you can see the screws so easily, it's quite easy to take a screwdriver and unmount them if need be, swap them out with RGB fans or, or a radiator or any other thing basically. And that's one of the things I like about Deepcool is that they make it easy for you to figure things out. You don't need to get a manual, like how do I open this case? How do I get to this part? Everything is very intuitive. It doesn't get much simpler than pulling things out snapping it out, and then you have access already to the front fans. Same thing with the CK500 here. The panel is a bit different. So here, for the CK560, you have the kind of cross design, so it's perforated. Excellent for RGB fans. I really like how when you have RGB, the pattern glows out through the front panel. The CK500 is just a flat black panel, same design. So you pop it out, it's magnetic, and then you have the clip that you just unclip. And then again, it's exactly the same case with the frame here in front. These have become standard recently, these kind of very easy to reach and clean mesh filters. Um, because everybody is obsessed now with airflow and ensuring good airflow means that your case needs to this needs to be clean, so a lot of dust is gonna go through here. Not only Deepcool does this, basically everybody has to do it now, where all of the dust filters are very easy to reach. For the CK500 and the 560, you have the front mesh filter, you have the magnetic top filter, so held on by magnets here at the top, and then you have the slide out PSU bottom filter, 
which you just pop out like this. A lot of budget cases want you to forget about this. These usually come out super flimsy. Sometimes they don't even have a frame. It's just like a gauze strip at the bottom just so that they can claim they have a mesh filter. Again, I just want to emphasize the quality of Deep Cool. The frame is super, is very sturdy, even for the rear filter of the case. And super easy to pull in and pull out. One nice bit that you don't usually find in some cases is the adjustable GPU mount. I mentioned earlier that a lot of GPUs now are becoming longer and longer. And the problem with that is that it can tend to sag because the main support is here. The longer the GPU is, the more likely its weight will cause it to sag down. So a lot of companies now are creating additional third-party anti-GPU sag towers, basically, which go over here. But DeepCool has included its own version already integrated into the case so you can you can change it up and down depending on the height where you install your GPU. And the actual surface that the GPU will rest on is padded. You know, it doesn't look like a lot, but it's a nice nod to the fact that yes, GPUs are getting longer and you don't need to get a third-party solution that will cost more money. It already comes integrated into the case. Alongside all of that are the usual refinements that make it easier to build. So you have the grommets for cable management. You will notice though that there aren't the usual, sometimes with more high-end cases, there are guide posts with Velcro somewhere along here, here, and here. Sometimes there are channels built into the chassis so you can bunch up particular cables there. You don't find anything like that here in the 560 or the 500. Not so much an Aqua Deep Cool, just the fact that, you know, this is what you get for this very acceptable price range. Although you might not really need a lot of those guides for cable management because there, again, there's so much room here in the back. The PSU shroud covers up a lot of the cables. I mean, basically you can tuck, hide away anything behind this thing and you can get away with a lot of rush cable management. For example, what we've done with the 500, you'll notice how clean it looks because a lot of the cables as they should be, are hidden in the back and hidden by the PSU shroud. You can find the tool-less uh, storage base. So you just, again, they're just like clips. And the sum of its parts is that it makes it super easy for builders, especially beginners, to just get into the case, put in your hardware, give it a little cable management, and everything will be good to go. Something that a lot of people obsess over, to be honest, I don't really understand the big deal, but the front panel, a lot of people ask like how many USB slots does that have? So the both of these guys have the standard USB two USB panels and it does have one type C which is becoming more and more in demand lately. A few years ago you would only find type C ports on the front panel in very high end cases, but it's nice that that is now trickling down to basically all mainstream cases. Aesthetically, actually I really like this the, it looks like a big shield, to be honest, the front panel of the CK500. It's not cheap, shiny, plasticky. It's very solid metal. And there's a nice texture, a slightly abrasive um, tactile feel to the front panel. I personally prefer the CK500's black panel because it's you can put stickers, uh, you can just leave it as is, you can use it in your office. It's one of those things where it looks clean, but it leaves a lot of room for customization. So there you have two very similar cases from Deep Cool, but they share the same design philosophy. Very reasonable price. At the same time, very accessible, especially to beginners that might need room to work in a case. You know, they're not yet used to having to squeeze in there with smaller parts and more more precise measurements of the parts and the cables and things like that. Solid offering again from Deep Cool. I give the cases both 4 out of 5. They're very attractive for the price point. And if you're that market where you want all of the modern amenities in a quality package. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na to kupuan na to. Hindi, joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.